Emily, I don't know what to do anymore. I don't know how to go on alone. We've all wondered for a long time now if Emily Agress is ever going to wake up from her coma. Despite Gabriel's numerous attempts to awaken the love of his life, Emily, we all know Emily fell ill and suddenly disappeared from the series, causing a rising tension in both the Agress family lives and the whole of Perry. While the decision to revive Emily ultimately rests with the creators, here are a few reasons why we think Ladybug should wake Emily before it's too late. Welcome to Bug Paws TV, and let's get started. Here are five reasons why Ladybug should revive Emily. Cataclysm! I would put that cataclysm away if I were you, Adrian. Considering Adrian's mother has been absent for most of his life, her return would have a significant impact on him, both as a hero and a person. As we all know, Adrian has been going through a lot of emotions from various angles, like from his father in the episode Cat Blank, when Adrian found out that his father was Shadow Moth. Earlier in the episode, Ladybug and Cat Noir revealed their identities to each other, prompting a love affair between them. Gabriel walks in on his son using the popular Sweet dreams, milady. <laughs> that Cat Noir is known for. Gabriel then concluded his son is Cat Noir and showed Adrian his mother's cryogenic pod. Gabriel could have used this opportunity to connect with his son and convince him to help him out. But Gabriel once again used Adrian's emotions against him and accumatized his son, tricking him into surrounding his cat miraculous. Ephemeral, I am your father, Shadow Moth. I'm giving you the power to speed up time and help me bring your mother back. This misuse of Adrian's emotions from his father will be stopped if Ladybug wakes Emily from her coma. Emily's presence could bring a sense of healing and closure to those unresolved emotions in the sense that Gabriel and Emily would have the opportunity to connect and rebuild their relationship even as superheroes. Just like in the episode Hackstan, Ladybug entrusts her miraculous with her best friend Alaya, and she uses it to defeat Robust and the Scent monsters. You can see that their friendship and personal relationship make fighting crime and teamwork easier. The same thing would apply to Adrian and Emily if Ladybug wakes her up. This. <gasps> what do you expect me to do with these? In the episode Mayura, Nathalie uses the Peacock Miraculous to save Gabriel from the French Miraculous superhero team. Over time, she became sick from using the Miraculous despite her symptoms being the same as Emily's. Gabriel doesn't stop Nathalie from using the Peacock Miraculous until her health completely fails her. Throughout season four, due to excessive use of the damaged Peacock Miraculous, Nathalie was left very weak and stuck in bed. Still, she was eventually well enough to get back to work with the aid of robotic leg braces to help her walk. With the fear of ending up like Emily, she was promoted to find a cure for her and Emily's condition. In evolution, after Gabriel does not repair the Peacock Miraculous, but because of his obsession with having Ladybug and Cat Noir's Miraculous, instead he travels back in time and gives the recipe to his younger self. In doing so, he sealed both Emily and Nathalie's fate of using the damaged Miraculous and ending up ill. Nathalie felt betrayed by him and then decides to sever ties with him and stop aiding him, leaving Gabriel frustrated that she had abandoned him because of his failure. Nathalie endeavors to acquire the ladybug and cat miraculous to help her mission to heal herself. In the episode Passion, Adrian is facing the possibility of being left alone due to both Nathalie and Gabriel's ending situations. In order to honor Emily's wishes, Nathalie allows herself to be acclimatized by Monarch into Safari, a hunting-themed supervillain with the power never to miss her target and receives the power of the Goat Miraculous through her alliance ring. She also resolves to seize the Ladybird and Cat Miraculous to prevent Gabriel from manipulating them into molding the entire universe into his insanity and to help her mission to heal herself and Emily. Pac-Man, I am Mayura. You're up against the wall, plagued by your deepest, darkest despair. Let me help you. In Risk, Felix is morally confused and shocked to discover his aunt Emily's cryogenic pod in a hidden garden below the Aggress Mansion. In the episode, Felix is suspicious of his uncle Gabriel and steals the butterfly and peacock miraculous. I knew it, Shadow Moth. Not knowing it is fake. 
Felix gets to use a miraculous for the first time, which is the dog miraculous. He is given the miraculous on the trip when Ladybug decides to travel to the past and retrieve the accumatized object with the help of an ally, Felix, who she is convinced hasn't been affected. Felix, who is pretending to be Adrian, uses the miraculous he's given to help Ladybug and steal Ladybug's yo-yo, which contains almost all the miraculous. Felix goes ahead and trades all the miraculous to Gabriel for the peacock miraculous. Now that doesn't sound like a fair trade and still Gabriel hesitates to switch the one for the many. Gabriel later accepts and trades it in, giving Felix access to the peacock's power. Felix disappears for a long time, but resurfaces in the episode Emotion, where Felix attempts to use the peacock miraculous, transforming himself into the supervillain Argos. He creates the Cinta monster, Red Moon, of his wrath and anger, allowing him to snap away any adult who is bathed in her light with the intent of making Adrian happy. But Adrian approaches Felix and tells him he's unhappy. Felix acknowledges that he shouldn't have created Red Moon out of anger and that her power is too dangerous for him to use. He then asks Red Moon for forgiveness, referring to her as his sister, and releases her from existence, causing him to break down and cry in tears. In the episode Evolution, Gabriel time travels and gives the Peacock Miraculous to Emily, prompting her to start using the Peacock Miraculous, which later led to her death. Her experience with the Peacock Miraculous would make her a perfect mentor for Felix, as his intention, though sometimes looks terrible, aren't entirely bad. It's almost as though Gabriel has dedicated his life to getting the Ladybug and Cat Miraculous, each day he devises schemes to get people upset for him to acclimatize them. In Ladybug and Cat Noor, Gabriel forced Noru to explain how the Miraculouses worked and how he could transform using the Butterfly Miraculous. Despite Nuro's effort to convince Gabriel that the Miraculouses were supposed to be used for good and not evil, still Gabriel ignored his instructions and forced the transformation anyway. Negative emotions. This is perfect. Just what I need. Anger. Gabriel also uses his influence to do yet another bad in the episode Catalyst. Gabriel Aggress calls Volpina a false hero, comparing her to Ladybug on TV. This makes Lila sad and filled with rage, and Gabriel re accumatized her into Volpina. After this, she becomes a critical factor in the Scarlet Moth's plan to acquire the Ladybug and Cat Miraculous. In the episode Reverser, Gabriel uses his power and money to manipulate the mayor into Project Oxygen, causing a protest from Marinette and her friends, which made the mayor upset. Gabriel then acclimatizes the mayor. All these misuse of power displayed by Gabriel Agress would probably be directed into doing good for the whole of Paris if Ladybug revived Emily, thereby accomplishing Gabriel's reason for acclimatizing people. Adrian? Reverse Morphosis. Gabriel loves his son very much, though he fails to let Adrian know that. There are times you see that he's without a doubt loves his son. Like in the episode Simon Says, he shows that he's proud of him by telling Ladybug that he's perfect and a lot like his mother. After being saved by Ladybug and Cat Noir, he finds Adrian in his room and hugs him. Also, in the episode Repost, when Kagami attacks Adrian, Hawk Moth tells her to stop and informs her that she may exact her revenge later. In the moment, that was his way of demonstrating his concern for him, even while performing his super villain duties. In the episode Glaciator 2, Gabriel senses his son's sadness as Shadow Moth and tells the bodyguard to bring him home. When Adrian arrives, Gabriel, seeing how sad his son is, says that even though he's been distant, they can always talk whenever Adrian needs to. However, there are times Gabriel wishes he could tell his son what he was trying to accomplish that made him not have time for his son, hoping Adrian would understand. Regardless, if he tells Adrian or not, he'd risk breaking the little connection they have left. The presence of his wife would mend that space between them, and Adrian would see how much his father truly loves him. The presence of Emily in the series would do more good than harm. It could also create a new storyline, keeping viewers kin on the series. Though the decision for Ladybug to awaken Emily rests entirely on the shoulders of the creators, we're hoping to see Emily and all the positive impact she'd bring to different characters in this series. Thank you for watching. What? Uh, what? 
Law what? Adrian, my son, is the image of perfection, don't you think? 